This is another one uh, that we're looking at this morning, the largest consumer of nitric acid in India, and which is Arti Industries, and Deepak Fertilizers, which is the largest producer of nitric acid in India, in Southeast Asia, have decided to come together. They've signed a 20-year binding term sheet for the offtake and supply of nitric acid. Rajender Gogri, who's the chairman and managing director at Arti Industries, joins us now. Uh, Mr. Gogri, good morning. This is a 20-year contract that you've signed. Can you tell us when does the supply start coming in for the company? And also, is the pricing of the contract fixed? Yeah, actually, uh, Deepak Fertilizer currently also is uh, our largest supplier. And we have an ongoing contract uh, which expires on uh, 1st April 23. And then this 20-year uh, uh, contract uh, kicks in. And we have structured a pricing formula. Uh, which is a raw material based uh, pricing for nitric acid. Mm. Mr. Gogri, I mean, this agreement with uh, Deepak has been there for many, many years, right? Uh, so yeah, is, uh, so yeah. you're formalizing it in a way, right? That's the new thing. That's what's happening. No, generally, we have been having three, four years agreement. Right. And, uh, this time, you know, um, in view of overall uh, increase in demand of nitric acid, and typically it takes about uh, two and a half to three years to set up nitric acid plants. Right. No, and, so, you, so you're saying that gen typically the term of the agreement would be three to four years, and this one you now want to uh, kind of have for a longer longer time period? Yes, yes. Okay. What what, uh, what benefits uh, can you expect because of you know, the long-term nature of this off-take agreement. Could you quantify it? Yeah, basically now it is much on a stronger footing. We have a both uh, supply of pay, take of pay structure uh, also put into that. And um, otherwise, you know, uh, in view of overall growing nitric acid demand, you know, we have to put our own plant. We have already announced uh, putting up a concentration plant in the uh, month of April. Mm -hmm. We are just evaluating whether we put our own uh, WNA plant uh, that's where this uh, long-term contract uh, discussion uh, started. Hmm. So, so this uh, this is the 225 to 250 uh, tons per day plant that you were uh, contemplating putting up. Yes, yes. So this, yes. You, you, so you may not need to do this anymore. Yeah, yeah. We will not be putting up that plant now once we have this uh, contract in place. And what was uh, the uh, sort of uh, what was the investment uh, sort of uh, kept aside for that? And that was only about 150 to 200 crores. Okay. But if we had to put the entire uh, integrated plant, it would have cost us 800 to maybe 1,000 crore mm -hmm. uh, because of the greenfield uh, plant. Okay. So this is, okay, 800 to 1,000 crores would have been the cost for you if you had gone ahead and put up that plant. So in all likelihood, you won't go ahead with that plant, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll not have this contract. No, we will not go ahead. So that frees up in a lot of resources for us to for regular business mm -hmm. uh, for value-added uh, specialty intermediate. So that's a big advantage uh, for us. Okay. Uh, 8,000 crores is the size of this contract spread over 20 years. So I assume you will be paying this in equal amounts. And what does this do uh, to your balance sheet? No, basically, it will be based on the yearly supply. Uh, so this is just an estimate of the turnover, but the turnover, actual turnover will vary based on the actual uh, uh, raw material prices and everything. So mm. it's not like a lump sum payment. Okay. Uh, you were also guided earlier for an EBITDA of about 1100 crores in FY23, which means that the first half of the year will be very similar to the second half. Uh, are you being a bit cautious in terms of, of your guidance because of the challenging environment? And once this supply comes through, then what would it mean for your EBITDA? Yeah, you know, currently, especially dye stuff and pigment uh, sector is little slow. That is the reason, you know, we had guided that you know, we'll have a second half also similar to the uh, first half, uh, FI 23 in uh, EBITDA. And we have guided about 25% uh, CAGR for next uh, two years as the more and more volume kicks in uh, and a uh, lot of growth, gross profits should uh, lead into EBITDA mm. in the next two years. In that con this context, you know, this uh, contract really helps us, you know, to get the volume security of nitric acid also and uh, price stability. Okay. Mr. Kogri, two points. Uh, one, uh, you said this frees up capital because you don't have to set up your own plan. What will you do with, uh, in terms of capital allocation? 
Yeah, we had already announced earlier um, overall we had a composite company about 4,500 to 5,000 crore capex for three years. Right. And now the pharma is hyped up and in last uh, conference call we have said that next two years FI20 for an FI25 will be spending about 3,000 crores. Okay. Uh, also in terms of uh, sort of, you, you know, you're an important customer for Deepak Fertilizer now. So you're the... Uh, you know, will they have to, will they have to, is, is there any talk at this stage that they'll have to uh, increase their capacity because they're also setting up a plant uh, on uh, nitric acid after this agreement? I think they will have to decide the timing, but most probably they will have to increase their uh, capacity also. Mm. Okay. Uh, you were telling us about the, how the, uh, you know, the situation is a bit challenging for the industry. You have exposure to some discretionary sectors as well, like dyes, paper, um, many chemical companies have spoken about lower demand from these segments too. How will they impact you and will there be further pressure there because of the inflation situation? Yeah, that's why no, in second half we have forecasted uh, around 550 beta, which is more or less equal to the first half. I think that has been uh, factored in there. Mm. All right, uh, we leave it there, Mr. Gogri. Appreciate you joining us. Good speaking with you. Thank you very much for your time and good luck. Uh, so we, that's Arthi Industries. We'll uh, you know try and have a conversation with.